Sorry, I've been away for a while. I'm going to try to get my glove on and get back in the game here. It has been a while. Uh, <clears throat> I think I'm going to need a glove to play as bad as my fingers are hurting. All right, this is Journey. Uh, open the door back from reaching way back to infinity. The infinity hour. All right. Pretty simple, but a little difficult. The first chord, now I'm going to run through a little bit of it. I've got a couple of people say I need to play some of it, so, uh, so I'll do that. Maybe I should learn the song. I can do right now, guys. I really don't think I can do it better if I try it again. All right, here it goes. Um, the first chord, I do believe, after hearing this thing about a hundred years, is an F sustained fourth with a C bass. Now, I'm getting this one uh, uh, two strings on the first fret, then the next three, three, four, and five, I'm getting with this finger. <laughs> C. I was hearing a seventh there on that sec. First I thought it was a that's a C seven sustained to a C. But the first one's an F, a straight up F major sustain, which has that B flat in it, which makes it sound almost it's almost like a um, B seven sustain. So you can do do that F sustain. Now, oh, bear in mind. Now, this is kind of it takes off on piano, and most of the rhythm's done on a piano. So I'm just uh, showing you how the rhythm probably would be done on guitar by itself. I saw a video of him doing it, and I think Neil's down here doing like an F chord right there, barring. I'm barring four strings on the fifth fret, and sixth fret, second string, uh, seventh fret, and the fourth string. And then right, right here with my pinky on the eighth fret, I'm getting the. All right, I'm leaving out the bottom string. Huh? You just pull it all off and leave that bar. But that you're losing that C bass there. If you're gonna play it with a band, that would work. But I think it really needs that C bass in there to sound. All right, that's the intro of the song and how it rolls on into, and then however many times it does that, a couple of stanzas or whatever you call them. And then I'm doing a D minor seventh. It may be a D minor. I've heard people play it D minor, but the minor seven to me sounds better and if you don't like my tone well I'm, I'm not trying to do what he's doing on that by any means I'm just I just found something good halfway good and clean but a little delay on it blah blah all right back to business D minor seventh uh, ball on fifth fret second string sixth fret 
four strings except the fret, that's all it is. Bar stays the same and you're just getting fifth fret, uh, fifth string, seventh fret, excuse me. So. That's a bar on the fourth fret and you're doing a C chord behind it. And go all the way up, that's your A flat bass. It's like an E with an A flat or G sharp bass. Back to that A minor. Then I'm coming down here and doing a D chord here. And uh, with an F sharp bass, I'm wrapping around with my thumb. Some people say that's incorrect, but a lot of people use it, so. Again, and then to F. I'm doing a bar chord. You can do just. Or you can do. But it actually, to me, it sounds better with the full bar chord if you can do it. I'm just doing an E chord behind the bar. I'm, I'm going a little bit faster on some of this. I'm assuming that anybody that's going to tackle this song already knows how to play some. If you got any questions, put them in the comments. I'm picking it up just a little bit. So let me run through that again. D minor 7, A minor 7, D over G sharp, back to A minor 7, D over F sharp. D over F sharp and then F. All right, two verses like that. Then the the chorus part of it is uh, so it's a C. Now run through this twice and it's going to change the second time. C F. F minor 7th there, ball on the 1st fret and just 5th string 3rd fret and back to C alright, one more time through that Second time it goes to an F sustained fourth. Down to F. F uh, minor seventh. I'm doing pretty much the same thing. I think it's still a C bass right there. The same chord that I did the first of the song. Hold it now. Third, fourth, and fifth strings again with that, and first and second here. Then the little instrumental part, I'm doing a F, and I'm leaving this here. it into a plain old C chord like it's real quick F just straight up there and then I'm catching this uh, four string on the second fret it's an E note and then I'm, and I'm bringing this on down into my C chord so it, and I'm doing a little power chord thing here Greg Raleigh used a uh, synthesizer on that and got some higher notes, and I think Neil might have too. But you can also do a second, third, and fourth right there. That's a that's a, a A shape bar chord. There's an A. Then he goes back and does the little chorus thing again. Second time, you know, he does that uh, nylon string, it sounds like. And I didn't do the...
the song with the lead notes there and I hadn't really learned that. I'm on the uh, 13th fret, 11th fret, 2nd string, 3rd string, 12th fret, 3rd string, 10th fret, 3rd string, 9th fret, 4th string, 10th fret. So. Then at the first of the song. that little riff where they doing the and I don't know that well enough to even try to show you but uh, main thing I was trying to get the chords out there so uh, it's kind of a quick job and like I said I'm assuming everybody plays a little bit and I'm trying try not to get too long winded with it so if you got any questions comments, feedback, all that stuff. Uh, leave it in the comments and give me a like and subscribe. Be great. I'll keep some more stuff coming to you. Hope I did a half decent job on this. I don't feel like I did it justice, but just let me know. If it's that rough, we'll do it all over again. I'm going to try to get one more journey up shortly. Thanks. See you next time.